Hi, welcome to a features and overview of an AIM MXS 1.0 um, Powerboat Data Logger Kit. Um, this particular kit is optioned out with the GPS 08 module. It's the full 5-inch um, MXS uh, dash. This is offered in both uh, the 1.0 version and the 1.2 version. Um, the GPS 08 module allows for uh, track mapping, lap timing, GPS speed, um, and a whole bunch of other uh, um, data analysis items um, in, in the data log itself. Um, this particular um, dash is uh, a 5 inch screen um, with 6 LED um, configurable alarm lights and then an RPM shift array at the top here. Um, this particular one has been optioned out with an LED bar graph as well um, for one of the analog sensors here, the trim potentiometer. So as the trim uh, potentiometer, the engine trim moves up and down. You can see here um, the live reading in millimeters and uh, that's freely configurable to be whatever color combination you want um, as the engine moves through um, its full range of trim. Um, and obviously this indicator can be remote mounted somewhere on the dash um, to allow for uh, uh, more flexibility on how you're visualizing um, that critical piece of data. Uh, furthermore, this particular unit is optioned with um, 20 GTs that we can see here, left and right one for each of the banks of the engine. Um, furthermore, fuel pressure, so it's showing the fuel pressure there. If we simulate um, the engine running, let's say we go to 6500 RPM here, it will alarm us that the fuel pressure is low because the, we haven't turned the fuel pump on yet. And once we turn the fuel pump on, we can see that the low fuel pressure alarm goes away. Um, so we're reading four bar of fuel pressure there. Um, let's see what happens when we rev the engine out a little bit more. So let's go to 7,500 RPM. We can see the shift array coming on. And as we approach the engine rev limit, let's say we go to 8,200 RPM here, you can see the full shift array come on. So, I will change this back to 6500 so we continue talking about the different visualization um, methods that we can have. Um, since the, the unit's just plugged into the wall here and we're not actually charging with the alternator, it's warning us at the bottom here that there's low battery voltage. Um, so we have 20 GTs, fuel pressure and trim, um, and then GPS speed shown um, at the, in the speedometer here. So we can also switch pages here. So this particular alarm light is warning us of the low battery voltage. We have good satellite reception. Um, this is a different way to visualize the same data. We can also switch to this um, more uh, just larger fields uh, for the data visualization here. So we can show the, the speed here, um, the RPM taken from the ECU data stream here, both the GT values and the fuel pressure. And you can see if I lower the fuel pressure here, or let's say I raise one of the EGT values, which will, will happen if the fuel pressure uh, begins to decay. So let's say this will go to 550. Um, not enough to trigger an alarm yet, but let's say we change that to 650. That will be enough to trigger the first stage of an alarm if we force it to go even hotter. So that's the right bank, so you see the right array here being illuminated. Um, if we go even hotter, let's say 700 degrees centigrade, we'll trigger the full um, EGT second stage alarm here. So we'll remove that just so we can see more of what's happening. Let's say 650. Okay, moving through the rest of the screens, we can see that we have currently 13 uh, satellites that we're connected to and the GPS status is good. It's not detecting any nearby tracks just because we're far away from any of the ones that have been predefined um, within the, the AIM GPS database. Um, this screen shows pretty much the full suite of data, kind of a diagnostic check screen with a bar graph indicator for um, the RPM, as well as GPS speed on the top right. We have both EGTs fuel pressure, 
we have the trim angle or trim potentiometer here showing trim angle as well as the LED bar graph at the top showing the same information. Um, we also have the full data stream from a Bracado ECU in this case. This power um, boat kit can come with a variety of different ECU um, connections. This one is for um, a 2.5 liter Mercury with running a Bracado um, EFI system. Um, so we can see air temperature with a master fuel adjustment um, percentage, the ECU um, stream for the engine temperature, um, the vacuum, engine vacuum from the map sensor, and then the injector spray time in milliseconds there. Cycling through the screen as well, if we remove the RPM signal, it will allow us to check the memory. So we were um, simulating an RPM here for four minutes and nine seconds and two milliseconds. The max RPM that we simulated was 8200. The max speed was uh, one kilometer an hour rounding up from 0 0.55, I think. Um, and then we can scroll through this page. If there was multiple sessions here, we would have multiple laps that we can check um, the max and mins for, which is nice. Um, we also have, if we click menu, we can do a number of uh, um, configuration items here on the screen. We can configure the date and time. We can configure the backlight settings. We can look at uh, engine counters for engine hours. So you can see this is a brand new unit and uh, we have the total system time here. And then uh, different sessions for each of the different seasons coming up. Those are more trip meters. Here's where we can select any of the GPS tracks in um, the manager here. So if we click enter here, it'll show us the GPS status. Go to all tracks manager, click enter. It'll automatically select the nearest track um, if, if we're near one. So there's none in this area. Um, we can configure the Wi-Fi settings as well as check the system serial number and the firmware version. If you're interested in any more information regarding this kit, um, this is uh, just a brief example of how you can configure the visualization. Um, this is a 1.0 level uh, hardware. On the 1.2 level hardware, the more recent ones, um, all the new um, PowerBook kits shipping um, will be uh, 1.2. Um, uh, they include a rear camera input as well as a number of um, different visualization techniques that you can use in conditional alarms. Um, and just display templates that you can use that will give you more flexibility to how you can visualize the data. Um, as far as the system goes, there's a number of different sensors you can option it out with. Um, the most popular, or I guess common, package is with this 150 millimeter uh, linear potentiometer, twin um, K-type EGT thermocouples, uh, 0 to 10 bar VDO um, pressure sensor, similar to the one shown right here. And um, yeah, um, a secondary harness is required for um, any of the RS-232 connections uh, to an ECU. That's things like um, uh, the Mercury 2.5 uh, EFI, the 849, 849 ECU, um, Bricado ECUs as well. Um, that includes any of the Billet or Sandcast varieties, um, newer um, than kind of the mid-90s, any of the, the digital boxes. Um, any of the CAN connections for any of the marine outboard manufacturers, um, the secondary uh, harness is not required. It can connect right to the primary harness. So all of that is uh, uh, available on the website. You can see um, the different options and the pricing structure for that. Um, if you have any other questions, um, I encourage you to subscribe, uh, comment, like, um, and uh, definitely hit the bell icon. And uh, you can um, interact with us and, and recommend um, more content for the future. Um, different themes for some of our uh, more recent videos um, will be walkthrough videos like this and then uh, kind of whatever the audience would like to, um, to know about. We're happy to, to create video and content uh, regarding that. So um, without further ado, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you another day.